breaking news in the field of this weird mod. So to keep this brief, ish. Originally, Meat Shield said that this mod could add up to plus 40 damage, then I told him that it could add up to plus 48, seemingly at a rate of 1 damage per every 2 frames. Then a bit later, he told me that it can actually go up to plus 64 at a rate of 8 damage per every 0.33 seconds, but you can only go up to that if you have the tier 1 charge rate mod, because if you charge faster, you can start overcharging earlier before hitting your overheat which still happens after 3 seconds of holding down left click, then I told him that I was testing it with scripts for holding left click precise amounts of time, and the overheat time isn't 3 seconds, it's 2.5 seconds, which implies the bonus increases by 0.25 seconds, not 0.33 seconds. And uh, I'm skipping over some of the back and forth figuring stuff out here, but we did figure it out eventually, and here's the long and short of it. When you start charging a shot with the coil gun, you have 2.5 seconds until you overheat, regardless of when your shot finishes charging. This means that if your charge rate is higher, you can hold the fully charged shot for longer before overheating. The way overcharger works is, once you finish charging, every extra 0.25 seconds that you keep holding the charge past full, you gain plus 8 bonus damage because higher charge rate means you can hold down the shot longer before overheating. If you take the tier 1 charge rate mod, you're able to build a bigger bonus on overcharger. Conversely, if you have an overclock that lowers charge rate, it will lower the max damage bonus you can get from overcharger. Here are the maximum possible damage bonuses at different levels of charge speed. Now, I don't know how useful I consider these two mods in general still, but it is worth knowing if you want to make a build for high single shot damage. Also, as long as I'm talking about Overcharger, I ought to mention that the barrel glowing yellow is your cue that you're about to overheat. It always comes right before the overheat, which is a big waste of time if it happens. So, if you're not used to the timing, Try using that yellow glow to time when to let go. 